Unbelievable. Nigerians attack Joe Ibukwe for what he said. In fact, activist DG responds to Joe Ibukwe particularly, saying that the bully van are not only used by banks. You know, people know the truth, but they go ahead and they lie. And it is called cover-up. They know that this thing is wrong, but they do what we call cover-up. It's terrible. It is actually really terrible, you know, really terrible. You know that this person, you know that all that has been going on is wrong, but yet you want to say, by all means possible, this must be done. No, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way one bit. The bullying van issue has been a serious bone of contention, and Nigerians are saying, how can bully van that is being used by bank be used by one man? You know, re regarding to Tinubu's presidential declaration. However, our brother, own, our very own brother Joe said, Nigerians should not be asking that question. He uh, can use the bowling van. It's only not, it's not only used by banks. Individuals can use it, and everybody's asking. So you see, uh, you see black. You are calling black pink. Like seriously, these are people we call leaders. What a shame! Truly a shame. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Activist DG responds to Joe Ibuque's statement that the bully van are not only used by banks. It was recently reported that a well-known chieftain of the All Progressive Congress APC, Joe Ibuque, stated that the bullying van are not only used by banks but can be used by civilians to move private money and that nobody should pay attention and begin to talk about the former governor of Lagos State because bullying van were found in his residence at the 2015 and 2019 elections. Mm -hmm. But Nigerians have asked Joe, well, apart from Tinubu, how many more private individuals or civilians have been found with bully van because you know the truth and you tend to pretend and to hide as if what is being said is untrue. It is a shame that those of you who call yourself leaders are some of the most dubious set of people ever to have been. Based on that note, a well-known human rights activist, Adeyoju Deji, called has reacted to the, to the reaction has reacted to the words and statement by Joe Ibukwe while reacting Deji stated it is clear that section one of the money laundry and prohibition act prohibits an individual to be in possession of more than five million naira catch at a time it is the Nigerian's law and constitution recall that two building vans we exported in front of Ashwajo Ahmed Bola Tinobu's home a day before the 2019 presidential election, based on what Joe has said, it is clear that they are ready to do what we call cover-up, lie, deceptive to anyone and everyone who cares to listen because they want to prove a point that Tinubu is qualified to run. We really don't think this is the right thing for Joe to be saying because it, quite, it clearly shows the kind of heart he has and how Nigerians perceive him going forward. That is a very deceitful person, and there is no truth in him at all. He's only saying what he's saying because these are the people who gives him his daily bread, and so he can lie all he wants to lie, even when he knows the true situation of things. So this is what Nigerians are saying. We are very, we are very worried that such people, sadly, are leaders in one capacity or another. Is one of the special assistants to Bajide Sanwulu. And when you hear this man speak, you'll be wondering to yourself, are these people really honest? Or they're just trying to play politics? Or they are being, I don't get it. What exactly do they mean by what they say? Are they being honest? Is it true? Do, do they believe in what they are saying? Do they even believe in what they are saying? You know that according to the law of the land, you're not supposed to hold up to five, I mean, five million Naira cash is the tops you're supposed to have on you at every, you know, minimum, maximum, I mean to say, at any point in time. You have way more than that. And yet, you tell everybody to shut up, that uh, they, should, they should not, uh, that, is not, that is not their business. When you are breaking the law, you know you are breaking the law, but because it's you, you know, when people judge case, if there is an issue and the matter needs to be analyzed and looked at, do you know that they don't, when it comes to their parts, where they went wrong, they don't amplify it. 
they say it as madly as possible. Uh, I only just said that that's not what I meant to. They make it as mild as possible. But that was what triggered and cast and caused the whole thing that happened. That was what caused it. You, you're saying it very mildly now, like it does not matter when it comes to yours. But when it comes to the other person's own, this is what, eh, and, but, but, but if you see what he did, if you see what she did, what about you? When it came to yours, you were very, very, you know, your mind was very, very, uh, you, you said it very lovely. Uh, I only just said, I, I, that's not what I meant to. Before you know it, uh, he will quickly run from his own responsibility, his own part of what he did or what she did that was wrong. And before you know it, the other person is the scapegoat. Why you are the you are the one who is right. So those of you who continue to lie, it's it's a shame, oh, because you know the truth, but you decide to take the other route. Nigerians and everybody is watching. Then very soon you will come out to tell us you want to run for such a position here and there, and then you expect people to support you because you feel you qualify because you are from a party. Yeah, all this you are doing now because of Tinubu, because uh, Tinubu has given you your daily bread. Uh, so nobody must say anything about Tinubu. If anybody does, then that person has spoken against the gods. Excuse me, but that's what happens in this country. Those are the things going on. You know, we people know the truth. They know what's wrong. They know what's right. But the position of lies, okay, where we lie to ourselves and we will do it very, very nicely and we can't be bothered. We know the truth. But we, 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 we shave it down the, the uh, truth and we pretend that it does not exist. And we continue with life business as usual, as if nothing has just happened, you know, all because we want to get a position, all because we want to ascertain to some level and we feel that uh, nobody must speak. How can a civilian has a whole bullying van and you tell us not to speak, that uh, we don't have a right to speak? He has a right to have it because it's Tinubu. But if some other persons, the police will not let them rest. Some other persons, ah, they have to they have to explain how they got that. You know, the rich will always rule over the poor. It's just a sad truth. Whether you like it or not, it is what it is. God will have to help us, you know, so that, you know, we, we must come out of every form of oppression by doing what we ought to do. So that we're not pushed down and oppressed by those who feel that, um, they have what it takes to oppress us. We cannot be oppressed. We must turn the table and we must liberate those who have been oppressed. Leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.